In the previous lesson, we introduced the first kind of non-harmonic tones, which are the passing tones. But of course, we cannot use only one kind of notes, we need some new tools. So today we are going to introduce the second kind of non-harmonic tones, which are the auxiliary tones. And as you see, uh, it will be something very important because the main feature of, uh, of the auxiliary tones is different from the passing tones. So in the first, in the first video we will introduce the auxiliary tones, in the second and in the third videos we will uh, understand how to combine them so to, to obtain the simultaneous uh, <coughs> double uh, auxiliary tones and auxiliary chords and in the fourth and fifth video uh, we will practice, we will put into practice by writing a melody. Uh, first off, let's imagine we have again a first degree chord of C major key and I start uh, playing uh, G, this G, uh, which of course is a chord tone. Then I go down to E, uh, to B, sorry, I go down to B, and then I return to the same chord tone, so C again, so C, B, and C again. So B in this case is an auxiliary tone and I move from C from the chord tone to the auxiliary tone below it and then I return um, I return to the same chord tone. Uh, well okay I can also have an auxiliary tone which is above the chord tone so for example I can have something like that so I start from C I go up to D and then I go down to C. I can choose between two different auxiliary tones, but I can also combine them. So instead of playing something like this, so one, two, three, four, I'm changing the chord when I return to the chord tone, as, as you can see, or one, two, three, four, I can also combine them together. So I can play something like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I, this way I have played, first off, the chord tone, then the higher auxiliary tone, then the lower auxiliary tone, and then I go to the first chord tone, which is now a chord tone of a different chord. Or I can also play something like this, I can do something opposite. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So in this way I have, I have mixed these two uh, auxiliary tone and in this way I can achieve a greater variety. I have, this way I have two changes of direction. One in this case of one, of only one auxiliary tone, I have only one change of direction. So uh, down, I go down, then I go up, then now, or I go up and then I go down. Here I start, I go up, then I go down, and then I go again up. So I have two changes of directions. Uh, rather than starting from C, which is a, which is a chord tone, I can also use E, uh, since we, we can choose between C, E, and G as chord tones of the C major chord. So I can start from C, and then I can, I can go up to F, which is, an, it is a higher auxiliary tone, and then I return to E. But uh, rather than play them um, uh, one by one, so one, two, three, and one, two, three, I can also play them together, I can play them at the same time, so I can play E and C, then I go up, and so I have F and D, and then I return at to, e, to E and C, so this, one, two, three, Four. So, since they are played simultaneously, these are called simultaneous auxiliary tones. Okay? I start from C major chord, which is made up of different uh, chord tones, it is made up of some chord tones, and then I can move down to these auxiliary tones, so I'm having this uh, G major auxiliary chord, and then I return to the, to the, to the main chord, we could call it, and then I go, I go to the same, then I'm changing, I'm switching 
to the next uh, auxiliary chord, which is an F major auxiliary chord, an auxiliary uh, F major chord. And then I return to the main chord. So I can have something like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So starting from the same chord, I can obtain two different auxiliary chords. Well, so we start from this chord using this chord and I'm start using a chord tones which is this C. Okay, now I start uh, um, using some steps and some skips. So for example I can do something like this. I start with C then I go down to B flat then I go to A and then I skip again to C. So let's analyze these notes. C is a chord tone, B flat is a passing tone and A is again a chord tone and then I skip to another chord tone and then I have to change chord and when I change chord I skip again to another chord tone which is this G. Uh, now uh, in, in this in these first bars we have you we have used only uh, passing tones but of, but of course so mm, we know that a passing tone uh, give the melody a linear trend and of course we can have some new feature now some new features now so for example instead of using again some passing tone I can use some auxiliary tones and so for example I am on G I can, I can go up to A which you know which is a, a higher auxiliary auxiliary tone and then I return to G which is the same chord tone uh, I'm going to uh, to hold this note for three beats and then on the fourth beat I have to um, to, to play this this note uh, something very important is this when I return to G which is the the, the, the chord tone from which I start, when I return, I change chord and so in this case G, the second G, is a chord tone of the second degree chord, so G minor chord. Two, three, four, one, 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 two, 